What do we have today, boys? What is this? This right here is a package. Look at these bad boys. YouTube, what is it, hey guys? Lifting and Addicted here, and I'm going to show you how to put HID projector bulbs in your vehicle. This specifically is for 2009 through 14 F 150, but the process should be pretty similar to just about any vehicle. Now, these I bought off of Amazon for about 180 bucks. I'll put the link down in the description below. I think they look very clean and nice, and will definitely um, make the truck look a lot more new and appealing, especially at night. The first step is to removing this right here. It's kind of like a um, plate, not a plate, but like a rubber flap right here. That way mud and stuff doesn't get into your engine. And I just gotta pop it off this right here, which mine kind of came off, but uh, this pops right out and you're gonna just move this out of the way, kind of tuck it over there. And then right here, you're gonna have a bolt here to remove, a bolt here, and I believe a bolt here. And then I'll, I'll tell you if I find any more, but it looks like these three bolts are what holds this in. And it should pop out and then you should be able to remove the factory of bulbs that are in there. Now, in order to do this, I ended up using a 10 millimeter socket and a quarter inch drive ratchet. And I believe that is a 10 inch extension on it. Now, it really doesn't, all those sizes really doesn't matter. All you need is a 10 millimeter wrench or socket. I took off the three bolts, as you could see. Um, it's kind of hard to tell the third one. You can't really see it, but I did take that off. If they don't come off, just use some WD-40 and maybe a wrench. And they should pop right off. But anyways, after that, you're really going to want to tug at this thing until it pops out of place. It has little clips that hold it in. And uh, once it pops out, you're going to want to remove the lights. Now, as you can see, I very easily removed both the turn signal um, on the top and the bottom. Those lights came out really easily. But the actual headlight bulb itself was extremely hard to take out. Like, it was, like, really sealed up and in there. As you can tell, I was really trying on this thing. I could not get it out i ended up sitting there for about 15 or 20 minutes um moving this thing left and right and everywhere and i just could not get this thing out i was putting full force on it and uh, eventually i just got the idea to uh just grab the top of it there and uh unplug the harness or the light itself from the bulb is what i ended up doing here The next step is going to be making sure your new headlight fits and it looks how you want it to look. Um, obviously, you're going to need to make sure that what you paid for is worth what you paid for. And uh, right here is the new HED bulbs compared to the old halogen bulbs that came with the projectors. There's a very big difference there, um, as you can see. Now, in order to fit the HID bulbs into uh, the projectors, you're going to have to remove that little metal bracket right there. Um... It's not too hard to do, but they are a little bit tricky. All right, so I'm gonna try to explain all this wiring as quickly and easy as possible. Um, Cause uh, just to let you know, before you go trying to do it yourself, the lights do not come with any instructions at all. Nothing, not even installation video. So you kind of got to infer on yourself here. So uh, obviously I'm not gonna sit there and try to hold every, all these wires and everything and show you, it's gonna be really hard. So I drew it all out here and a few things you should know. This is the truck, this is the headlight fixture, this is the ballast, this is the headlight, and these circles are female connectors and these um, pins are male connectors. So, starting that off at the light. The light has three, technically, technically four different connectors coming out of it. This connector right here, which we'll talk about in a minute, plugs directly into this connector, which connects to your headlight, and your headlight fixture connects to your truck. So this is pretty much all solved right here. It's a two-prong connector. It looks just like a plug-in on a wall outlet. Now, this guy right here is the really big connector. It's a male connector that comes out of the HID bulb. It connects to a really big female connector coming off of the ballast. And then off of the other side, you're going to have a one more big wire that splits into two little connectors, one being a male, one being a female. This connects to the female and the male on the ballast. Now, once all this is plugged together, you're going to put the bulb into the headlight 
and you're gonna have to plug it into the headlight. You might wanna put some tape on that. Mine was a little bit loose. And then plug the headlight directly into the truck, which if you're buying it for your truck, the headlight should already have the proper adapter to your vehicle's harness. The next step and probably the most fun step is plugging in what you have together so far and making sure that everything works. As you can see, mine turned on just like it's supposed to and man, were these things bright. Now right here are a few little clips and pictures of what I'm gonna be coming out with my next video. I ended up taking apart these headlights and putting them back together and uh, added little halo rings in them. I'll show you how I did that. Now in this clip, I'm gonna show you the ballast, which I mounted with a zip tie onto the metal bracket right there. Uh, perfect range and out of the way of any mud. I also use Ziploc bags and zip ties to secure it and protect it from water. Now right there, I cut out a little piece of the rubber and put in that little um, insert right there. That way no water get, or dampness gets in the headlights, preventing fog. And uh, obviously the last step and um, is just to put all your work back together and look at the finished product. Um, as you can see here, I'm connecting up everything. I have the ballast zip tied down. It's inside of a waterproof bag. Um, I have all the inserts in. There's no condensation getting these lights. Um, plugging up everything, making sure nothing's being pulled putting it back in there uh be sure to be careful with this because it does have to pop back in there it has little clips took me quite a few tries but once you get it in there right just remember to go ahead and start putting them back the top two 10 millimeter bolts back in there and uh, after you get those in there you're going to continue on to the third bolt down there at the bottom and uh, after that's in you should be good to go just close your hood and um Test everything out, highs, lows, everything should work. You could also adjust your beam pattern, but um, that's just for another video. Anyways, guys, you can see my lights turned on, flickered a little bit at first, but they turned on, and man, were these things bright. Um, those are the halos that I put in, but back to the brightness part, these things are super bright. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, like and subscribe, check us out on Instagram. We have a truck club coming up. We got stickers and everything. So if you guys like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram. I got all the links down in the description below. Anyways, guys, peace out.